Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good morning, students. Students of two class, hope you will be fine and well. In last class, we read unit number one, our cells. In this unit, we read about skeleton, bones, and senses like skin. Now, today we read about eyes. Eyes is important part of our body. Eyes help to see different things. Okay, let's start our reading. Eyes help us to see. Our eyes have different parts. Eyes have different parts like iris, sclera, cornea, pupil, lens, and retina. What is iris? It is the colored part of the eye. It regulates the amount of light entering the eye. Next part of sclera. Sclera, it is white part of the eye. What is sclera? Sclera is the white part of the eye. Cornea, it is the transparent coating around the eye. Next, pupil. What is pupil? Light enters the eye through pupil. Lens, it focuses light on the retina. What is retina? It converts light into electrical impulses. What is the function of retina? It converts light into electrical impulses. Okay, it helps us to recognize different colors. It is easy to mix paints to make new color. You can use the primary colors red, blue and yellow plus black and white to get all of the colors of the rainbow. If you mix these colors, then you get different colors of the rainbow. Okay, it, it's your activity like this red, red plus blue is equals to purple. If you mix the color blue and yellow, result is green. If you mix ye yellow and red, result is orange. Red and green, result is brown. Green and yellow, result is light green. Blue and green, result is blue green. Today, this is your activity. You do this mixing and see the results. Tongue. Tongue help us to taste. Tongue help, uh, help us to different tastes like salty, bitter, sour, sweet. Our tongue has lots of taste birds to recognize different tastes. It is the most touch sensitive part of the body. Next part of our body is nose. Move on the next page. Page number 5. Nose. Our nose helps us to smell things around us. It helps us in breathing in and breathing out. Okay, we breathe in through our nostrils. In nostrils, there are two tiny hairs to remove dust from air. These are called nasal hair. The inside of the nose is a bit wet and slippery at all times. It adds moisture to the air. This slippery stuff is called muckus. Next and important part of our body is ear. We can hear through our ears. Ear collect sound, process them and send sound signals to our brain. Our ear have three parts. Outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. The ear is divided into three parts. All three parts play an important role in hearing and processing sounds. Look this picture. Outside of our eyes, outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. Outer ear. The outer ear is located on the outside of the head. It is called the pinna or auricle. It collects the sound waves. Next middle ear, ear drum. It is also called ear drum. The hammer, anvil and stirrup are found on, in the middle ear. They send sound waves from the ear drum to the inner ear. The stirrup is the smallest bone on the, in the body. Okay, next part and last part of our ear is inner ear. Inner ear is also called cochlea. The three semicircular canals in the inner ear control your balance. If you spin round quickly then stop, the fluid in the semicircular canals keeps moving, making you feel dizzy. The auditory nerve begins as the thousands of tiny hairs in the cochlea. The auditory nerve, nerve sends messages which the brain interprets as sounds. Ok students, now you have to underline difficult words, unfamiliar words and read this 
chapter carefully thank you so much allah hafiz